my world basically fell apart. Uh, life changes happen, but I resorted to drugs and alcohol to try to overcome those feelings and felt um, diminished, useless, spent. I was getting ready to get uh, released out of incarceration and real life work experience was non-existent because I grew up in, in the prison system. So. You know, I was a guy, suit and tie, um, had the place, the kids, you know, the marriage, uh, you know, everything. And uh, it didn't, uh, didn't take long for, for me to get down to nothing. All my life, you know, I was uh, heading in the wrong direction. And I thought, I don't have anything. I don't, I don't know what to do. I guess I can just leave everything, grab my boots and my pack, and start over again. I found myself at my father's sleeping on his couch, and I would have never thought I would have gone through that because I left everything. That's where my addiction led me was being a business owner, back to sleeping on the, the concrete and struggling for dear life. Basically, I got down to two bags and homeless, and uh, and I just kept hearing the uh, you know the name Fair Start, and so I came in on a Tuesday, and uh, and uh, by Wednesday I had a place to stay, you know, food in my belly, and I uh, was learning a new career. Somebody said, "I believe in you, and I have an amazing program to introduce you to," and I came to Fair Start. Might be some drug addiction, might be some some homelessness, might be some alcoholism. Might be some jail. These folks didn't care nothing about that, man. If you want to do right, we got a spot for you. We could teach you a trade. They didn't give a stuff about who I was or what I'd done. This is what I'm doing now, and we move forward. It was the unity of all the members of Fair Start um, holding me and supporting me and believing in me, encouraging me, and pushing me when I couldn't push myself. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's amazing. There are, I don't think there's one staff member here that uh, doesn't truly care about you. You know, they don't judge you. I wasn't alone. It wasn't just me going through school, fumbling about. It was the sense of, you know, togetherness. And that's what I needed. <laughs> Fair Start gives them not only opportunities to to get a job it helps them find housing it helps them adjust to getting back in society it changes their way of living it changed mine and i've never been in an organization where everybody is really rooted pulling for you you know and want to really see you succeed so that's 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 big that's huge i shine now you know i i was in a pretty Hard place in life at the, you know, when I got here, and it's just, it's brought me out again. When you're in addiction, it's so easy to be so selfish, you know, and it's hard to, to think clearly and to really realize how precious life is. And with First Start, I was able to, to see clearly, to really cherish my life and to do something great with it. Fair Start was a hand up. They grabbed hold of me and held me until I could stand. Because of that, I now can help other people. They help you with everything, you know. Got my resume done, cover letter, you know, I did a mock interview, elevator speech, and I was so panicked about all of this, you know. Was, you know, being older, you know, I, I don't remember my last, like, interviews and things like this. I got out of here on the 20th of July. The 21st of July, I was working at the Woodmark. I never thought I'd get a job at the Woodmark. I served a personal risotto bar for Bill Gates, Paul Allen, and 30 of their closest associates. Me, are you serious? When my boss interviewed me, he asked me, what did I want in the next five years? And I told him, I said, I want an apartment and a dog. There was my dog right there. And I have been in my apartment 16 months, and I owe it for the, from the start a fair start. It actually has you look at deep inside yourself and how can I give back to community? How can I help out now? Doing uh, shelter runs was one of my favorites. We make bulk food, we deliver it to shelters, and then we get to actually serve uh, at one of the last shelters that we go to. To see uh, a lot of their expressions and how much they enjoy the food, it's just like, I can't describe the feeling that I get when I just see their reaction and 
how thankful they are. It's humbling. It is very humbling because, you know, I could have been there. Absolutely, I could have been there. I, I just enjoy serving people food and, you know, being able to, you know, make somebody else happy. And uh, I've never had that. And I've been working since November of 2013. And I, uh, I run my own crew. The homeless people that's on the street, they come and they eat daily. And I feed like 600 people a day. You know, I'm gonna be a total success. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without fair start. The report card, I think I actually have it in my pocket right now, in my wallet, so hopefully it'll stay. I wanna put it in like a little, what do you call that? Uh, like, sleeve. Yeah, a sleeve, you know, to keep it, just to remember how, how hard I fought to find this place and how hard they push us to do better and get back out there and start something new instead of giving up. I had not known about fair start, gone straight out of rehab, I'd probably be back where I'm, I, I was at. And we just keep growing and building all because of you. And it is life-changing for thousands of people every year and not including the people that we feed. So it is, I don't, it's just inspiring and awesome. I don't know if words can express the, sorry, the gratitude, but I wanna say thank you so much for not only changing people's lives, but for changing your community and your world around you. It's, it's unbelievable, I couldn't say thank you enough, you know. There's not a word, there's not a big enough word to say thank you. Like the thank you is uh, only what, like eight letters? But the thank you I want is bigger than this building, you know? Your support of the Fair Star program isn't just handing me something. It's giving me a hand up that I can in turn show and give to other people. You're not just helping me, you're helping a community that continues to grow and grow and grow. This started with just one person just one. I'm grateful for my sobriety. I'm grateful for my family. And I'm grateful to be alive.